Okay. So thank you for sharing this time for this River Watch session. Yeah, of course. <laughs> How did you enjoy the whole process? Well, it was like it was very different from what I've done in school. Um, it was difficult in the beginning when I had to choose a topic and, you know, make the whole structure of the extended essay because I had never written something like that before. Mm-hmm. But when I was yet orientated in what I had to do, um, it was really, it was actually really good. And I really enjoyed the whole writing process. And I really enjoyed um, the final product because mm-hmm. I never, you know, I never believed that I would do something that was like 4,000 words long, mm-hmm. but I wrote it myself and I was, I was satisfied at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, if, uh, if you look back at the whole process, yeah. uh, how would you, how shall I say it? Uh, how would you describe it now? I mean, like phases or stages or ups and downs or whatever. So uh, what you have just told me as more or less your perception about it, it's, it was a kind of mixture between objective and subjective things. I mean, yeah. kind of emotional, uh, which is always a part of the journey. So it's, it's good what you have shared so far. Um, but dwelling a bit on the, the practical side, how would you describe the process? Okay, so I would say that the first stage is thinking. I mean, you really need to think and consider what you're interested in, what you want to write about, what you are willing to do, like what you're willing to conduct a Dora research about. So that's the first process, uh, that's the first stage thinking. Then it's of course the research, which is actually, um, I would say the longest part of the whole essay, because me personally, I had to find all the information from secondhand resources, uh, secondary resources. And so um, it was not always easy um to find proper figures um then the writing process starts no before the writing process i would say it's uh organization of the whole essay i mean you really need to sit and think how to structure the whole thing Mm -hmm. and say the information that you want to present to people in a proper way um and then then the writing process and then um that's it ellie can you hear me yeah can you yeah well actually uh the connection was not very good and the the uh-huh. last thing about the writing process was practically okay. not heard uh, from me and it's not on the recording so could you rewind okay. a bit and repeat about the writing so whatever you said about writing could you could you please repeat it yeah of course so um after uh, structuring your essay um comes the part of writing where you need to you need to present all the information that you've gathered in a proper way um, with the help of the structure that you had made before. Um, and after you're finished writing, you, you know, hand it to your supervisors and they give you feedback and then you correct the whole essay according to their um, comments. So uh, the, the feedback and uh, editing, let's say editing, Editing, part, yeah. would you would you um, put it together with the writing part or would you divide yeah. it in a separate stage? Well, I would actually divide it in a separate stage because um, like big part of my essay changed after the comments of uh, my supervisors because my structure was not that good. 
um, in the first hand. And so they helped a lot with that. And I would really separate it into different parts mm -hmm. because the final product was quite different. I yeah. see, I see. Um, so this writing and feedback, um, this part of the process, is it like a line or you would describe it as a different form, geometrical no, form? No, I would, yeah, I would, I would describe it like you're up here when you're finished writing. I mean, you're very satisfied. You're really happy that you've done the whole thing. And then you get your feedback and you get, you know, a little discouraged because you still have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. But once you start, especially me, I saw that it, it was not that radical as I thought it was in the first place. And so, yeah, I would, you know, I would describe it definitely as a graph. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Like that. Uh, yeah. And excuse me just for a second. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. No sorry. problem. Um, okay, uh, so I got it. It's, it's like a curve. So up and yeah. down related to, well, it's about your emotions. Yeah. Um, so um, based on this uh, process, uh, I put down five phases. Thinking okay. about yeah. the topic, research, yeah. then uh, yeah. outcomes and structure, then writing. Yep. And mm -hmm. feedback and editing. Absolutely. So that, that's it. How how would you define um, the challenges? What were actually the challenges? Take it as a task for you to make it a list of the challenges that you have gone through with this okay. extended essay. So the first challenge um, that came up was for me to find the information I needed um, to write a proper essay for the topic I had chosen. So first of all, I, I wasn't really sure about the actual topic. Um, and according to the information I found, I kind of changed my uh, research question um, as well as my title of the essay. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was the first challenge, really finding the information you need. Um, then the second challenge was to structure the everything I wanted to say, um, which was, yeah, which was not that hard because it was, you know, it was kind of logical and I followed the guide instructions and so on. I also read some um, example extended essays, um, but that was a challenge as well that I had to overcome. And then of course the third challenge was um, when the feedback came mm -hmm. and I had to restructure some parts of my essay and um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so these challenges are behind yeah, uh, that's the good part. Um, yeah. <laughs> and looking back, looking back, uh, looking back at them, what was your approach actually to to deal with them? How did you approach each one of these three challenges in order to solve it in in a yeah. successful way? Well, I would say that the first challenge with the information, um, very important, was there that I didn't give up because um, sometimes mm -hmm. I would, you know. I would search the net for one or two hours to find just a single figure I needed, um, which was very new for me because I'm used to, you know, just typing something in the um, in Google and finding it on the first page. And I really, I really need to, I really had to spend some time researching. So the first challenge I overcame as I didn't give up. Um, the second challenge with the structure, well, I don't know. I would say just, 
again, consistency. Um, and then the third one, I had to really motivate myself to sit again, uh, write this extended essay once more, correct the things that I had to, and yeah. And how did you motivate yourself? Well, I told myself that in the end, that's something that I had put so much work into and it was just not worth it if I were to give up now. I had to finish it because I like to finish the things that I start. And so mm -hmm. that's that's what motivated me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if, uh, if you look back uh, at the whole thing, you yeah, know, it's like zoom it out, you know, like the big picture, yeah. helicopter view um, yeah. about the process and the challenges and your approaches for how to solve them and all the stuff that we have discussed. Yeah. Um, and looking at the future, mm -hmm. what are the conclusions that you would take from this experience? You will take them with you and bring with you in the future your future yeah well i would say i would say that something i learned is that i don't have to be so scared and frustrated i don't have to get so scared and frustrated about things because um you know when we don't give up we actually achieve a lot and being scared or frustrated or anxious about something doesn't really help. Um, and so you just, especially me, I just have to start. I have to start researching, just have to start writing and things become clearer and clearer and the frustration goes away. And so that's the biggest thing I would say I would take from this extended essay that I just, you know, I just start working. Whatever it is, you just start working and things become easier and clearer with time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is your general general outcome yeah. and conclusion for, for the future in life. Yeah, I would yeah. say. Yeah, okay. There is one saying, I don't remember who said it, but that every, every, um, every long road starts with one single step. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so if you do the you first know, single step, then you know yeah. <laughs> it flows. It flows. It's just it's just typing the button of the first word that you have to write, and yeah. it all starts. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, Eli, uh, is there anything that you would like to share related to the extended essay and the process and whatever we have discussed so far that uh, I haven't asked you about, or anything related to this? Well, well, one thing I really like to share is to thank you because your feedback um, really helped me because it really restructured my essay. You know, simply, for example, that I had written the evaluation at the end, but you cited the guide that said that the evaluation had to be inside the work and not as a separate part which were things that are super important. You know, um, it's the type of structure that IB um, is looking for. And so, yeah, I just want to say thank you. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, thank you. I will pass your uh, thanks to Svetlana also because his expertise was yeah. really crucial. Okay. Um, yeah. for this extended they say and uh, you know um, it's out of the uh, official scope of the Viva Voce session but you know in, uh, from my side uh, in life I strongly believe in structures Ellie can you hear me yeah yeah, can you hear me now? Because I lost you for some time. Um, yeah, it's just a, yeah, yeah, me too. I can hear you now. Can you? Yeah. Well, uh, okay. what I wanted to say is that uh, uh, as something important in life, how to deal with things in life generally, yeah. uh, I strongly believe in structure. Yeah. So once you have a structure, 
then things are manageable. <laughs> things are manageable, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You so know, this I was I felt really I felt really scared until I made the structure. And I saw that it was not that hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you have the structure, then everything and the first step, as you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. It and you can see there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you very much for, for taking the time. Um, and now as a process, um, actually I have um, uh, I have the time during the weekend to, f to finalize my part. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm just, I can stop the recording, I guess. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah.